Hello, and we're back playing Kerbal Space Program. We had a successful flight around the moon uh, last time around, and we came back with a good chunk of science. Now, we are limited. We can't actually research anything here, um, even though we have enough uh, science here. But because, because, cannot research technologies over 100 science at this level. And that's 160 science for each of these. So, we are going to go with a little bit more here. Uh, so we're looking at a few things that we might want. Clampachon Jr., some landing stuff, parachutes, legs, ex or escape systems. We could get lots of this. We could get more science. Press map barometer. That actually might be pretty good for us. But, well, really, hold on. I think we might have a new version of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is a radiator panel. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Radio attached radiator panel to help dissipate heat into space. I'm guessing that's for re-entry? I'm not sure. Oh, here's all my stuff. <laughs> I've been looking around for this uh, monopropellant for quite some time. Uh, so here's the monopropellant thruster. So apparently we're going to have to research flight control, which is pretty good because I want that small inline reaction wheel. It comes along with it. Yeah, we might want to mark one inline cockpit once we go back to making uh, space planes. But definitely flight control, which gives us these uh, thrusters. So let's go ahead and get that. It also gives us uh, mark one lander cancel for when we're landing. So let's grab the thruster block. Uh, I won't get the linear thruster port. We'll get the roundified monopropellant tank. I love that. Um, and maybe the advanced inline stabilizer. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we have 265 science left. So if we are going to the moon, we're going to even get a good shot. Um, we do have... Where is it? Back here? Micro landing struts. So we're going to try a small landing. Just with an automated probe. Which we won't bring back. We just want to make sure we can get there in one piece. So we might as well grab some of this, some of this stuff, this propulsion side, research that, uh, which we've never actually uh, used before. The Oscar P fuel tank, which is a smaller fuel tank from Probodobodyne. It's a compact fuel container for small pro space probes or backup tank for other small spacecraft to wash in cold water or feed after midnight. And we'll get the spark liquid fuel engine and the ant liquid fuel engine. We have 175 science left to give us one more of these. So we might as well give it a try. So I'm te tempted to get the press map barometer. Let's research that. Grab the press map barometer. That's all we need right now. Close it up. And let's actually check out our contract. See if there's anything new that's appeared. This is actually a flight that we probably could do. Uh, EVA report on the surface, on the surface, and below, and a crew report in flight below a particular sector. Let's accept that contract. So Warner's Fault Alpha R4BX. Don't say Warner's Fault Beta. Yeah, so all the ones we accepted around here. I'm hoping Warner's Fault Beta is close by to that. That's uh, the Kerbal Space Center. All right, let's give that a try before we build our probe. So I actually have a craft that I use for some of these flights. It's just a simple shuttle. Do we have any better engines for this? No, not yet. A uh, simple airplane gets us around easy peasy. Has a few emergency parachutes, probably more than we need. But uh, let's see who's flying today. Who uh, who needs experience? You need experience. So Rotrude, time to fly. So I always think the hardest part is getting off the ground. So I like turning SES on and just throttling up. Oops, too far up. And let's just get off the ground. Because this is still a bumpy road. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind whenever we're uh, using this. 50, 60, lift off. Good, and our tail did not touch the ground. So where are we headed? 
I should have sighted that before. Uh, getting into the air. And we do have only fixed landing wheels. So we are quite limited on what we can do. So we want to go, let's go aim for here. Activate that navigation. And that is up this way. Fortunately, it's a crew port under a certain height. So we'll just aim there, aim our ship there. And just move our prograde vector in that direction. Good. And set you to mark prograde. And we should eventually reach that destination. Roadtrip doesn't like this flight. I want there's a little bit more stability that she would like. Probably should get more parts for this. Entering sector blah blah blah, we need a crew report. Yeah. Apparently we didn't have that before. So that completes that. Contract completed, gathering survey data, blah blah blah. Great. Next up. Warner's Fault Beta. Alright, slowing down a bit. We should be approaching any time now. Alright, we've landed. Oh, here we go. Break. Try not to leave the area. Did you just leave the area? Crap. Okay. I do not know what's going on here. Uh, let's kill the gimbling. There we go. No gimbling. Better turning. All right. Brakes are applied. Brakes are working. Let's not go backwards too much. Throttle up. Reverse that descent and find how far away that thing is. 18, no, that's 18 kilometers. We want to just get back to Warner's Fault Beta. All right, Warner's Fault Beta. Let's activate those brakes and hopefully they'll actually stop us this time. Good, EVA, don't fall off please. Let's get your EVA report and board. Is that not what the mission was? Oh, on the surface. All right, I guess I have to get off the plane. Oh no, now it did it. Cool, board it and now, last one. Warner's Fault Alpha. All right, entering Warner's Fault Alpha. Let's just break. Good, I didn't even lift off there. I just stayed in the ship. Whoop, don't fall over. Do that EVA. And reset, grab, board, and recover the vessel. And we got a touch of science. Oh, hey, we have 97 science. I don't know where that came from. But, that actually gives us a little bit more. That gives us enough, enough to take advantage of other parts here. And maybe we'd want to clamp a, ton, clamp a draw on Docking Port Junior. So that we could detach stuff from our, from a primary ship, mayhaps. All right, so we are going to have a lander. Actually, let's uh, toss this, load up, load up the Moonshot 3, that got us around the moon, nicely, uh, and we are probably going to want to take a good chunk of that with us, so we'll call this a Mooner Probity 1, go ahead and save that, we are going to trash you, and start off with a Probodobodyne, good. Uh, actually, I don't think we're coming back, so we could trash that as well. Probable Dobodyne. All right, let me introduce the Munir Probability One. Maybe it's Probe Ability One. Bad puns. That's the name of the game. All right. Let's see. Let's zoom out here a bit. So it's just a simple. Three solid engine booster stage, everything's in triplicate. Um, just because we need to keep under that part limit still. Just because. Fun, restrictions, you know. I'll probably start going beyond that once we do get enough science. But this, hopefully, we will be enough to get us on the moon and transmitting back data before 
Uh, we have a manned landing. Kerbold manding. Whichever. All right, save that and launch. Oh, probabilities wobbly, but I think this is good. Launching. All right, into the second stage of atmosphere. We still have a start of fuel boosters, but they're about to drop off. Let that drift a bit. Dump those. Thank you. Don't break anything. Oh, and throttle up. Not down. Up. Not my best orbital insertion, but I think it's good enough. We'll wait until we're a little bit closer to the apoapsis. As per usual, so we have highest efficiency of our engines. And let's get within 45. That's good. And throttle all the way up. We do have to keep an eye on our inner electric charge here a little bit. And our fuel. Here goes our first stage. We actually had a pretty good run towards orbit with only our first stage, so that was nice. All right, nice and stable, nearly 100 by 100 orbit here. Ship is doing good. Let's test some systems. You're facing good sun exposure. Did I not? Oh, good. It's like, do I not have temperature readings and stuff like that here? Barometer, is there any, is there any atmosphere in space? No, let's transmit that data. We only get half, but you're not coming back anyways. Tests our power system quite a bit. But we are charging back up. Good. So we have a small maneuver out here just to adjust our nodes. Whoops. Come on. Warp next maneuver. Thank you very much. Don't run out of power if you wouldn't mind. There we go. All charged up. And I can't imagine that's a significant burn. Though why it's not estimating the burn, I don't know. Yeah, it's less than a second burn. And I did it a bit early. Let's see. Oops, a little too far. Or not far enough. There you go. Descending node zero. Let's save that. And we should prepare very shortly to start accelerating towards the moon. Usually guess add maneuver right about here. Guess we should get in front of our ship. Oh yes. Get a nice encounter but it's a minute burn and it is in a bit all right we should start this one very shortly it is in less than a minute and it's a full minute burn so we should start about 33 seconds and go all right slowly approaching throttle down get back on that node that went away from us pretty quick. Kill that. Hmm, nice. Better periapsis than I thought. Let's zip ahead. So we have a lot of fuel in this section still, I think. I want to see how close we are to the moon. And what we can do to land. And there we go. There's our periapsis. We'll probably want to slow down somewhere around here. I missed my target, but this should still be a fairly easy burn. A fairly quick burn. 10 seconds. And good. I just want to water apoapsis and our periapsis once it becomes that. And let's say that'll work. So we're just going to adjust once again now that we're on the not sunny side. Uh, we want to bring our periapsis closer, now that we're pretty much opposite sun right here. And just do this manually. Should it just where our periapsis lands. Good, that should give us a nice daytime landing, or daylight landing. Or moonlight, sunlight, sunlight landing. There we go. Sunrise, oh, too far, too far, too far, too far. Oh, what can we do, what can we do? We'll try to aim for this crater then. Add maneuver, hopefully. It's nice and flat. All right, 35 second burn. Let's face the right way. Keep in mind that's with the engine we currently have. The probe has its own engine, so if you run out of fuel on this section, this section here, uh, we'll have less weight and more fuel, or some fuel. 
We'll find out. All right, throttle all the way up. And we could probably go into this view now and watch our doom or success, whichever. All right. Our thing changed. We are stopping. Camera's orientation changed. We are stopping. We're almost done. All right, let's see what that left us with. Yeah, it's okay. We are going to fire retrograde just so that our surface, whoops, our speed in relation to the surface isn't moving. That's what we want. And so kind of like that and face straight up. Let's log some pressure data and send half of it back home as we can. We have some power now and we're not dead yet. Same thing with temperature. No, nothing for temperature. No worries about that then. Oh, we got something. What happened here? What did we just get? Science from space around the moon. Nice. We got a good chunk of money, a little bit of science, and some reputation. All right, we're just going to burn off some of the stage's initial liquid fuel as we land. Uh, just because we'll need to ditch the stage anyway before we do activate our gears. And then this should help slow us down. Should probably put this on that stage so that we activate immediately. Hopefully we don't go off course uh, once we ditch this because this has like 250 newtons or something like that um, of thrust. It's going to push us away quite a bit. All right, I'm looking for my shadow here. Once we see our shadow, we should probably get rid of uh, the engine right below us. Uh, it is slowing us down. But uh, the ideal if we don't land on top of it, I think. All right, I see our sa sa saddle. I see our shadow. I'm just going to move that a bit. And I'm just going to... Decouple that engine. And start up the spark. And we don't want to be heading upwards, thank you very much. Say goodbye to that engine. And get our gears out. Ooh, and there's a lot. Bloody hell. <laughs> there's a lot of control on this. Uh. I need to put in fine motor controls. We're going upwards. We're going downwards again. Good. Now let's just see about not crashing. Just adjusting how fast we are moving against the surface. Looks like we've got something of a slope here. It's not too bad. Let's keep us adjusting. Right. And... Crap. Heavy-handed on the keys. Takes almost nothing. There we go. Wooey! Just landed on the moon. Let's see, what's this barometer? <laughs> what does the barometer say? Insanity is doing the same thing multiple times, expecting a different result. You check the atmospheric pressure again. Anyways. Land on the moon. And we just got science data from the moon, and that we, means we have successfully explored the moon. Might as well transmit some temperature data as well. All right, we have landed on the moon with a nice little probe. Let's see if next time Valentina could do it. This has been Mobius Rex from Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, leave some comments and suggestions. See you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.